Saba Radio. My name is Chad Shapiro. I'm excited to be able to share with you one of the great pastors in the San Antonio Baptist Association and really around the whole world uh, with Pastor Safadi that is here with us today. And so I'm just going to introduce you right to him. Pastor, if you would say your church name, where it is, et cetera, where we can find you, kind of even your ministry focus. I, I would love for the people that are listening to get a chance to know you. Yeah, it's my honor to be with you now. Yeah, my name is Raid Safadi. I'm pastoring the Arabic Baptist Church of San Antonio here. It's located with uh, Village Parkway Baptist Church, which is uh, at um, 3002 Village Parkway. It's uh, close to 14 with Culebra uh, and west side of uh, San Antonio. And we planted another location close to uh, Stone Oak area. Uh, we use the facility of uh, CBC Community Bible Church to do um, a Bible study and reaching the Arab at the Stone Oak area also. Um, yeah. That's awesome. Two locations. And I encourage if you're listening, watching wherever you are to go see him in one of these locations. Um, tell us about your family. Yeah. Uh, I'm married. I have um, three biological sons. Uh, um, actually, I have two sons and one daughter, uh, David, 11 years, uh, Rochelle, seven, almost, yeah, seven, she's seven, <laughs> and um, Mark, four years. And I have another um, uh, foster kid from Jordan. He arrived to America to stay with us also. He's from Egyptian background. And he's part of our family also. He, he's now 19 years. Wow, praise God. That's beautiful. And how long have you been in ministry? Um, since 2003, around 18 years. Yeah. And how did you get started? Um, I started, it's, um, if I just put like headlines about yeah. it, uh, uh, God called me. Um, through a dream in 2014 uh, to serve him. Um, and I realized that from that dream that God called me in direct way that uh, uh, to go to share the gospel and to share with people, with people who don't know him uh, about the good news. And uh, when I become 18 years, I went to the, the seminary to study and to be equipped uh, through that time, I start to um, uh, associate pastor in one of the evangelical churches in Jordan. Uh, and uh, after two years, in 2009, um, I left the church, me and my wife, to plant a new church in an area there is none, there is no churches. And that in that time, God started to change my heart to reach the unreached people and to reach the, yeah, especially the Muslim background uh, uh, people. Uh, and from 2009, I started my ministry um, and ended in 2000, uh, in January 2018, to move to, uh, to America, to Topelo, Mississippi, in the beginning. Yeah, and uh, after four months uh, there, um, uh, because the persecution, we left our home country. But uh, 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 during these four days, uh, four months, uh, God uh, um, called us to to move to San Antonio because there is non Arabic speaker uh, church at all of San Antonio, and there is more than seventy thousand Muslim live, and more than fifty thousand Arabic speaker in San Antonio. Uh, we felt that the call yeah. to let us be here. San Antonio to plant uh, the first Arabic speaker church here in San Antonio. Praise God. Well, we're so glad that you're here. You yeah. know, I, I, one of our one of our prayers is that people that don't know Christ will watch this today. And yeah. I think when they when they do see somebody like yourself, they often uh, almost maybe feel disqualified. You know, they, they if they don't know Christ, they feel like they don't, you know, they forget that you struggled with doubts one time or that you weren't a Christian your whole life and that you have 
had some seasons where you were on fire for God and some seasons where you probably questioned where was God. And so um, I want to always be able to hear from you, uh, somebody like yourself, what was a key moment uh, to help you really believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ so that somebody that's maybe watching at home that's struggling in that area could hear you? Yeah, when I was 10 years uh, old, um, um, I met uh, Jesus Christ as a savior. And um, the key was, uh, it's, uh, I was thinking what is really the, the key happened in my, in my life and uh, I cannot see um, anything else than the Holy Spirit was seeking me and, uh, uh, you know, um, changed my heart and uh, opened my eyes as a kid to realize that I'm a sinner as I need to, to repent. Um, um, I, in faithful way, as, um, in, as a kid with a heart of kid, um, I put my life to Jesus Christ and I found that I need Jesus to, to change my heart. And I can see that the Holy Spirit was working in my life and open my eyes. Uh, that's, that's beautiful. Uh, that's terrific. What, what, what is uh, some of the vision that your church has going forward? Yeah. Um, um, to be honest with you, when, when, I find the, when I found myself in America without any notice that uh, two weeks just God uh, allowed for us to leave our home country, to 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 move to America, uh, and um, I start to see the urgency, the need to reach the Arab people in America. Um, my heart is um, as I did in my home country, and I believe this is the same. That to to for planting a new churches and multi multiply churches, and my heart to through equipping uh, and disciple leaders to uh, create and establish a new and uh, um, uh, church planting movement in America and in Texas especially. Yeah. But this is okay. my heart. Um, hey, we'll have to talk more about that uh, with yeah. Saba because I love that. I love yeah. that. So when we're, when we're starting to build ministry, sometimes things are, are entertaining, right? like that happen. It's, and, and uh, or some hiccup or glitch or something that happens that is looking back on it, it's kind of funny. Is there a funny moment in ministry that you can share with some of us that feel like there's always funny moments that go wrong in different ways? Yeah, um, um, there is there is a lot of action and uh, adventures in 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 our ministry and uh, uh, through our ministry, but. Um, uh, the the common thing happened everywhere with our ministry that God lead us in some in areas we never been before. There. This is the uh, I never been in San Antonio before, and I started a church. Yeah. I never been in villages in Jordan, and I tried to drive there, and I lost the 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 way many times just to reach that villages, yeah. and an amazing way how God. Um, call us to go to areas we never been there. Yeah, this right. is a very strange and blessing thing from God to to send us there just for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. I, I love it. I love it. That's terrific. Uh, in, in ministry, what's your favorite part of doing ministry just in general? Um, I love mission and church planting. Uh, this is my DNA. This is my yeah. heart. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and that's awesome, and you're doing a great job with that already. Um, you know, with us uh, being uh, on Saba Radio, it being kind of a new environment, and for those of you guys that are watching or listening, sabaradio.org is the URL. Very simple, Saba, S-A-B-A, radio.org, and you can save it on your phone like I have on mine and just click it and open it up and listen to it all day long. We are featuring uh, great pastors like Pastor Safadi here. And so he is one of the chosen few so far that will be streaming his sermons um, on a regular scheduled time. That's why we're doing this interview. Can you maybe share your heart and uh, uh, thoughts about Saba Radio for everybody that's watching and listening? 
Yeah, um, um, my heart is um, to encourage first everyone to, to get this chance to be in unity because I believe the powerful of unity and to be one in Jesus Christ, uh, the most important thing Jesus was praying that for his body before he go to the cross to be one. And this is the powerful thing that to be one. And I believe Saba um, will help and it's uh, created to, to link the churches together and to be in one heart, one mission and one passion for Christ. And I believe this is the, the privilege and the honor for me to be part of Saba and part of the, the network in uh, San Antonio, the Baptist Association, so we can work together so we can reach more people and to strengthen and encourage each other more and more. Praise God. Yes, sir. And we're so glad to have you here and on the radio so and on this show. So if you guys get a chance, go see him. But tell him again where, they, where you are, those two locations, if you can remind him again, Pastor Sabati. Yeah, every Sunday at 5 p.m. Uh, at Village Parkway Baptist Church, um, the name of the church. And the second service, we have it every Thursday at CBC Church at Stone Oak area. Yeah. Get over there and see him and pay attention to Saba Radio as his sermons go out all over the world, wherever you are. You don't even have to be in San Antonio because it's a digital radio. So anywhere you are in the world, you're going to be able to listen to his sermon. So we thank you for watching. We ask you to share, like, and comment if you're watching this online somewhere. And we look forward to uh, being with you all soon with another incredible pastor and getting a chance to listen to the music and the different podcasts and everything we've got going on there. So take care. God bless you guys. Saba Radio.